Many of the communities along the Burbies River depend on logging for a living. So on Minister Vikram Barrett's first visit to the area, they took the opportunity to raise whatever issues they could. The lands in Kokani, let me deal with the issue first. We labored and put roads for the areas in Kokwani, and we would never ever expect that forestry would send us to the SP and give us a concession. Now we labored and put roads to the lands in Kokwani, and lo and behold, not a patch of those lands given out in this area was given to the association. That's a raw, 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 raw deal. If some um, lovers don't have a tractor to take in the officers to the back down to do the inspection and that must be done, it's like they got to pay $25,000 for the high ridge. But if forestry provides a bike for the officer here on the ground, we outpost, it would be much easier on lovers, right? Because that expense would be cut, slash. Yes. Next, we would like to um, talk on the buyers. They buy our produce, yes. Some buy on the road, some buy out on the road. You have to pay the loading cost, the trucking, and stuff like that. But when you get there now, if you put like maybe 28 cubic meter on a truck, something you just get paid for 20, something 14. Now, we can't go and bar up because first thing they don't want to buy from Winamo. So you see the point? So to get the little market and get at least get puppy out of ash, there is not much royalty you receive. So by the you pay them, you won't have enough money to pay an acreage fee. Right now it's like, you know, you, you understand, say so you have to borrow money from some way, try to pay the acreage fee, then you have to give back tax to work. So I don't know if Miss Agard is here and happy is here, that's why I bring up this matter. So through the minister and with Miss Agard, they could do something and help me. The Guyana Forestry Commission has been struggling to pay staff on time and fund other critical operational expenses for several months. The government was last week forced to provide $300 million to meet critical expenses, such as salaries. Minister Barrett said the government will seek to turn around the way the sector is managed. We are in a state now where we are preparing the budget for 2020 and we are not in a strong financial position. And that is no secret. The country is not in a strong financial position to have a massive budget so we can carry out massive development in 2020 because of the state of the economy presently. Because you would recognize that most of the sectors are not making money. Right? Bauxite definitely is not. Forestry is struggling. The agriculture sector in terms of rice, sugar, even the fishery sector, they are all suffering. So we need, we, it's a lot of work for us to do. It is a lot of work for us to do to, to ensure that we build back these sectors. And that is what we intend to do. There have been a lot of talks about oil and gas and that the government will forget about the traditional sectors and that we will only focus on oil and gas now. Well, rest assured, that is not the policy of the PUPC administration. We intend to develop every single sector. As a matter of fact, we will ensure that every single sector, we work with them to ensure we put them back to where they're supposed to be or where they should be. Minister Barrett noted that the forestry sector supports thousands of jobs and it is the government's interest to ensure the fortunes of the industry are reversed. Oil and gas was supposed to be the icing on the cake, not the cake. Because we have gold, we have diamond, we have timber, we have sugar, we have rice. We have so many, so many resources other than oil and gas. So rest assured we will not forsake the traditional sectors. We are going to work to ensure we put back the forestry sector on its feet. We are going to work to ensure we strengthen the mining sector and put some systems in place so that there is equality and people benefit, Guyanese benefit from the, our resources. We are going to ensure that we work with you to have our bauxite industry striving again. But as you know, bauxite was an industry that used to sustain this country at one period of time. Bauxite and, and, and sugar basically kept our economy going for years or for decades. And we must not neglect these sectors. So I want to give you our full commitment. When I say our commitment, I mean the government of Guyana's commitment that we will work with you. 
As he toured the communities, the minister also looked at logging checkpoints managed by the Forestry Commission, and he was pleased with what he observed. What, what we have seen so far at the Suzaik and at the Linden um, checkpoints is that there is a good system in place uh, in terms of checks and balances because they, they are actually feeding into the main database of forestry. So they know which tag that is the tag that is on the log here is linked to which concessionaire. And uh, this can be easily accessed from the database for verification. The Forestry Commission was pleased that the minister took time to inspect his operations. This is important for policy and decision makers to have an operational and on the ground feel of the realities that the officers face and the operators in the sector endure. Minister Barrett said his ministry will explore measures to have a representative of the small logging association sit on the Forestry Commission's board. However, in the interim, the way has been cleared for the representative to be able to communicate with the board and the management of the Forestry Commission. For the newsroom, Neil Marks reporting.